I looked in the mirror and saw a different version of myself. I want to switch places with it. I work in a 7 to 11. Nothing fancy, but it gets me by while I go to school. I have to deal with my fair share of problems when I work the night shift. Homeless people, drunk people, and that one guy that gives off serial killer vibes. Usually I spend majority of my shift watching YouTube shorts on my phone, but recently I've been daydreaming a lot. I'm overweight and poor, so ironically all of my daydreams are about me being fit and rich. They always end really abruptly though. I guess I might be a little too good at manifestation because that's exactly what I saw when I looked in the mirror at the work last night. It was 3.23 AM and I had about two more hours till my shift was over. I drank a bit too much Red Bull and used the restroom at work, which I try to never do. As I opened the door and walked into the cramped one toilet and sink restroom, I was shocked at what I saw in the mirror. It was me but. I was buff. The background was exactly the same as mine, except it had slightly darker lighting. I was even more surprised when he winked at me and said what's going on bro. How was this possible, and how was my reflection talking to me? Yo, I know you think this is a bit weird, but let me explain. I found this book with a bunch of pagan rituals it in when I snorted a bunch of coke in an abandoned library. It just called my name for some reason, and I couldn't put it down. It was written that mirrors are portals that can be activated to reach alternate universes and how to activate them. Judging by the look of you, this alternate universe must suck, mine's the best so far. He seems to be talking very fast, almost as if he was in a hurry. Maybe he was just really high on drugs. I replied I'm completely sober right now, but this is real right? Hold up three fingers so I know you're real. My alternate reflection quickly held up three fingers. I'm real bro don't worry, but I want to run something by you. Go for it I replied. Not gonna lie, your life looks pretty trash. I mean we're probably the same age, but I make way more money and look way better than you. Why don't we switch places for a bit and you can live my life while I make yours better. We just do a quick switch for a month or two, and then we switch back. Honestly, it seemed like a pretty sweet deal. I would get a chance to live the life I wanted, and my life would become better when I came back. But something was off. Why would a guy with such a great life want to switch and make my life better? I asked my reflection. I just want to help the versions of me that don't have it as good. Nothing wrong with helping yourself, right? I mean, he did have a point, there isn't anything wrong with helping yourself. Listen up though, I'm a take action kind of guy so if you don't decide right now I'm just gonna go find a different mirror. It's now or never bro. I didn't have a second thought in my mind. Let's do it. A smirk appeared on his face. Cool, let me just do the ritual thingy real quick. He reached into his pocket to pull out a piece of paper with weird drawings and a small pocket knife. He opened the paper, laid it over the sink, and proceeded to cut his hand with the knife. As the blood began to pour from his palm, he began to draw a pattern with the blood and recite some ancient language, but it didn't sound like his voice, it sounds like a demon. I felt a strong pressure grow in the room and began to feel it heavily in my head. The best I could describe it is when you go too deep in a pool. Then everything went black. When I opened my eyes, I saw my reflection looking right at me. Not from the other side of the mirror though, he was right in front of me with a sinister grin on his face. You really fell for that? Literally the dumbest one so far. Anyway, let me explain what's going to happen to you. As he turned away from me and began to wander around the bathroom, his shape began to morph and change in a way I can only describe as mangled. When I realized what had happened, my heart sank. Layered scaly skin began to arise, and pointed spikes that could pierce any flesh began to form. It then turned back to look at me, and I saw nothing. There was no face. I'm going to steal your soul. Usually because I get hungry, but in this case I was just bored. When I realized what had happened, my heart sunk. Also, there's no escape. The creature swiftly grabbed me by the shoulders, and its faceless head pushed right into my face. All I remember is that it felt kinda good, like a tingle you get when you watch an ASMR video. I work in a 7 to 11. Nothing fancy, but it gets me by while I go to school. I have to deal with my fair share of problems when I work the night shift. Homeless people, drunk people, and that one guy that gives off serial killer vibes. Usually I spend majority of my shift watching YouTube shorts on my phone, but recently I've been daydreaming a lot. I'm overweight and poor, so ironically all of my daydreams are about me being fit and rich. They always end really abruptly though. It was 3.23 AM and I had about two more hours till my shift was over. I drank a bit too much Red Bull and used the restroom at work, which I try to never do. As I opened the door and walked into the cramped one toilet and sink restroom, I was shocked at what I saw in the mirror. Nothing. 